Hey guys, so today I am going to be doing a tutorial for the song Coffee Breath by Sophia Mills and I love this song a ton. It's very simple, both on the ukulele and guitar. We're doing a fancy little guitar tutorial, as I already stated. But this song is very simple. Um, there's four chords, they just repeat throughout the entire song. They're also really pretty chords. But yeah, I'll run through the chords and then I will go through the verses and the choruses and how to play them and then you'll be able to play the song! So the four chords are A major, A2, then you have D major, and then you have D major 7. Um, so for A, you will be... I'm trying to get this guitar in the little video. Um, it'll be 2nd fret, um, you will have your 3rd finger on the 2nd string, of the second fret. Then you'll have your second finger on the second fret of the third string. And then you will have your first finger on the second fret of the fourth string. So it'll sound like that all together. And then um, if you play the notes individually, it sounds like that. Um, if you get a sound like that, you just need to press harder on the strings, um, or you could be on the fret. The second chord, A2, um, it's really simple. You just have your A chord, and you lift your third finger off. Um, and it should sound like that. So you just lift your third finger from the A. Then for D major, um, you have your second finger on the second fret of the first string, and then you have your third finger on the third fret of the second string, and then your first finger on the second fret of the third string, and it sounds like this. That is D major. And then D major seven um, is also very simple. You just lift your third finger and then bar with your first finger on these bottom three strings. So the first, second, and third, and you bar on the second fret. So if you're from going from D major, I just slide my finger down and move the others out of the way, like that. Um, that's really the easiest way to transition from those chords. For the strumming pattern, it's very simple. It's just a down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. Pretty much the entire song. Um, so... So down. Um, also, one other way you could play D, um, this is what I do in the song, um, you just have a bar already and you put your third finger down on the um, third fret of the second string. So that when you go to the D major seven, you just have to lift your third finger. So um, I will run through the verse and then um, kind of walk step by step through it a little bit. Um, and then I'll do the same thing with the chorus. Oh, 
So there's not really like a chorus in this song. I guess it could be like the ba ba da um, part. Um, but for the verse, um, you're just using the down, down, up, down, down, up strumming pattern. So you'll switch chords after you've done a down, down, up strum kind of thing. So if I'm on the A, down, down, up, and then I'll switch to A2, down, down, up, then D, down, down, up, down, 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 up. You will do a down, down, up on A, and then A2, and then go back to A, and then do A2 again, and then you'll switch to D, and then D major, D, D major. Um, so that'll just repeat through the entire um, song, so you'll do that for all the verses, all the ba ba da part, um, through everything. Um, so it's that same strumming pattern, um, and the same chords throughout the entire song. Um, so I hope this tutorial helped you. Um, let me know if it did. Thumbs up, comment, whatever, do whatever you want. <laughs> um, follow your arrow. As Casey Musgrave says, love Casey Musgraves. Um, also love this song, Coffee Breath. Sophia Mills, love it. Um, so I hope you have a fantastic day. Um, I don't really have anything else to say. Um, yeah, have a great day and be happy.